wow, this is going to be immortalized. I better keep it clean. <laughs> worms are, are not by nature clean, so. Other than the worms, I'll keep it clean. Molly said that you had some stories about when she was a kid. It must have been about three or four. And I went outside one day and she had a bunch of worms in her hand. And I said, ooh, what are you doing with the worms? She said, they're my friends. <laughs> I thought, okay, this is a strange child I have here. <laughs> you know, I have the same strange child. My oldest child did that too. They're my friends. Yeah. They're... Okay. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> worms is a good place to start. Yeah, worms is a good place to start. I just remember like my first memory ever is being in the back garden with um, my mom and my aunt Margaret. Um, and I'm just like in dirt naked. I just remember playing with like a lot of garden stuff, a lot of bugs when I was little. Um, I remember, I think I mentioned at some point, like having like all the ants on the peony bush that um dad, the one that's right. It's, I mean, it's still there. It's right outside the shed. Uh -huh where um, just like making sure that everyone was like evenly distributed and that like the workload was fair for all of the answers. Oh, wow. Yeah, like eating the petals back. <laughs> he, was, he was interested in social justice even back then, <laughs> even among the ants. Yeah. And they have an organized work system too. So you were as truly probably messing up what whatever they had going, but. <laughs> ah. So do you remember her like bringing worms and bugs into the house i think it was just you playing outside collecting worms and they were your friends yeah that sounds right when i was growing up i lived in east flatbush that's where i grew up yeah and we had a backyard and one year i think for my birthday my parents gave me a turtle and it was like this big of a turtle you know and he lived in the backyard and then at one point he wasn't there anymore you know and i guess he decided to explore Brooklyn. So the rest of Brooklyn. Oh, he didn't have like a, a terrarium or anything. He just was he. he no, just, he just. I mean, this is how I remember it. He just. We had a fenced-in uh -huh. backyard. And you fed him, or he just foraged. I don't really remember, wow. but he disappeared, and then like a year later, he showed up again. It was like there he is. He came back. Was he much larger? Uh, I don't think so. I or remember thinking, the same there he is again. It's like he's been lost in space and time. <laughs> but he wasn't one of those little ones that you keep in a little terrarium. He was like this big. Well, you know, those little ones get big. Ethan has well, it. Has it, depends. it depends. Oh. Yeah, I think it depends on the, the, the variety. I mean, I also how much room they have. So oh. we have we have a red-eared slider that when we... Is that a kind of a turtle? It's a kind of turtle. It's about... It's about this big. It's like a turtle-sized turtle. It's like when I think a of a turtle, 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 that is the size that it is. Okay. Uh, we thought when we got it from the pet store, when our, our daughter was three, I, they said it lived five to seven years. So we were like for, you know, year seven or six to seven, we were, you know, preparing her for the turtle's demise. And then right. it, like after year nine, went back to the pet store and was like, what's the deal? They're like, oh no, they can live, you know, 20, 25 years. And then, and now the turtle is, um, 30 something wow and uh i find that you know turtles live a long time so <laughs> well there's a story about the frogs uh when david was little was full of, see i remember linda got me a couple of little frogs little african frogs as a gift oh. but she remembers it as she got them so that david would understand death because she was told they don't live very long and, oh but they lived and they got bigger and bigger we had them in this you know tank okay? They just kept living and getting bigger, and um, one and every once in a while they would get out. They would hop out and land on the floor, and we'd have to find them and put them back in. One day, we went over to the tank, and there was only one turtle in there. And I looked around, and there was like a couple of spots of water frog, leading to the frog, frog, leading frog. to the dog. And I looked at the dog, and the dog went, "Oh my god!" I thought, "Oh my god!" That's where the frog went. Dog just had that guilty look on his face. Uh -oh. Brownie, that was Brownie. Brownie was the dog or the frog? Mm -hmm. No, Brownie was the, the frog. One of them was named Mr. Big, and I forget what the <laughs> other one's name was. Was Molly a good guest? 
Too much fun. <laughs> we had a good time. She she went in the worm bin with me. She has these worms that are like this freaking big. They're so cute. <laughs> I remember there were people who were talking about investing in worms as a some it was something to do with you know conservation and yeah, sure. It was gonna be a uh, a future industry, but it never seems to have well, I don't know. People say that, that you can actually make money uh, doing worm farming, but I'm not in it for that. I am in it for conservation reasons. Right. Global this is my warming. garbage and global warming and also provides really good soil, very healthy soil. So it doesn't even smell bad. Well, Molly, bring home some nice soil, okay? No. <laughs> she's, a, she's, a, she's a top notch gardener now. Oh, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> 